If you've ever flown to Vegas for the weekend and then come home feeling like crap because you parked your fat ass in front of the mini bar, you know how much of an effect food has on our mood. Hi ladies, welcome back. And if you're new to the community, welcome. My name is Shelly Pelly. I am a style, beauty, and wellness influencer out of coastal San Diego, or as we locals call it, San Diego. Much more than a channel, we are a community. This is a respite from the outside world where women can come share, learn, and connect in a no judgy eyes environment. Environment. Join me every Tuesday and Friday where we dish on all things style, wellness, and beauty. Click like and subscribe. I would love to have you as part of our community. Let's get this started. Talking mood boosting nutrients. Not only does a healthy diet keep the pounds in check, it can also help to mitigate the blues. Part of the human experience is that sometimes we just don't feel that great, right? The very best nutritional plan is twofold. First is a very diet of whole fruits, whole vegetables, leafy greens, whole Whole grains, nuts, and foods high in omega-3 fatty acids. Just as important is the things that we cut out or at least greatly limit. Tons of added sugar, overly processed foods, packaged foods. Research has found eight nutrients in particular that make a significant contribution in supporting healthy brain function and to fighting depression and mood disorders. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is essential to your body's ability to make neurotransmitters, including dopamine, noradrenaline, and serotonin. These neurotransmitters provide mood stability and the prevention of depression. A 2018 study on 139 young males found that those who consumed the most amount of vitamin C had the lowest reported feelings of depression, confusion, and anger. Excellent sources of vitamin C, kiwi, oranges, lemons, strawberries, bell peppers, and broccoli, all high in vitamin C. Vitamin B6. Your body needs this to make mood boosting neurotransmitters, including serotonin, norepinephrine, and melatonin. Vitamin B6 has also effectively been used to treat PMS depression. Moreover, studies have found that a deficiency in vitamin B6 can lead to depression. Yummy sources of vitamin B6, yes, I just said yummy, salmon, carrots, spinach, sweet potatoes, green peas, lentils, and bananas. Omega-3 fats. Omega-3 fatty acids in particular have a huge impact on the maintenance of healthy brain function. Studies have also found that omega-3s are highly effective in improving depression symptoms. Good sources of omega-3 fatty acids, chia seeds, flax seeds, wild salmon, herring, sardines. Okay, y'all, time for a couple quick shout outs. I'd like to give a shout out to my girl, Marty. Marty is brand new to the channel. Marty, welcome, I love having you here. Miss Felicia Davis and Miss, I think it's Ohio, but it might be Ohio Joe. I am not sure. Let me know, I hate mispronouncing people's names. Ladies, thank you for being a part of the community. And if you would like a shout out, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, comment below. I have brand new videos every Tuesday and Friday on all things style, wellness, and beauty, I would love to have you as part of our community. Zinc. Interesting fact. Research has shown people with the worst depression often have the lowest levels of zinc. A zinc deficiency can lead to symptoms of depression, ADHD, difficulties with learning and memory, even seizures, aggression, and violence. Zinc is also super important for metabolism, healthy skin, healthy hair, and healthy aging. It also supports the body's ability to repair everyday wear and tear on our DNA caused by a lot of our environmental factors like harmful toxins, free radicals, poor diet, alcohol, and stress. How much do you need? The average woman needs about eight milligrams of zinc a day. The average man about 11. If you are vegan like myself or vegetarian, you'll need to up those levels to account for lower zinc bioavailability from the plant sources. Experts recommend that we should aim to consume about 50% more than what's recommended. For us women who are vegan, or vegetarian, that means about 12 milligrams a day. For men, it meant about, what did it mean? Oh, 16 and a half for men. The very, very best source of zinc is oysters, but it's also plentiful in red meat and poultry. Vegan options, chickpeas, lentils, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, chia seeds, nuts, and whole grains. Magnesium, about half of Americans don't get enough magnesium. Why is this important? Because your body needs magnesium to support and facilitate hormone balance. 
enzyme activity and neurotransmitter function. All of these entities regulate your mood and your overall health. Athletes know that magnesium contributes to more overall energy. We like that. Magnesium rich foods. You're going to love me for this one. Dark chocolate. Yes. We're talking 70 to 85% cacao, white and black beans, tofu, pumpkin seeds, and of course, dark leafy greens. All excellent sources of magnesium. Folate. Folate helps with many functions in your body. It helps your body to create new cells, supports the formation of DNA, and contributes to serotonin regulation. Decades old studies have found a link between folate deficiency and depression. Foods high in folate, your leafy greens, of course, spinach, kale, romaine, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, avocado, oranges, seafood, and sunflower seeds. Side note, y'all, I know that this can probably seem really overwhelming, but listen, choose a few foods that maybe you love and would like to integrate a bit more into your diet and just go from there. It's not about being perfect. It's about doing the best that we can. Selenium, an important mineral for your brain health. A 2014 study in the Journal of Nutrition found that among 978 adults, those with the lowest moods also had the lowest blood levels of selenium. In a 1991 study, 50 people who were supplemented with either selenium selenium or a placebo for five weeks. Researchers found that those who received selenium reported a general elevation of mood, a decrease in anxiety, depression, and tiredness. Top foods of selenium include Brazil nuts, wild yellowfin tuna, mushrooms, and lentils, all high in selenium. Finally, vitamin D, better known as the sunshine vitamin, because the only way to get vitamin D naturally is, you guessed it, from the sun. Vitamin D deficiency is the most common vitamin deficiency in the world. Vitamin D can increase the production of neurotransmitters associated with mood like serotonin. Research also found that vitamin D supplementation helps to maintain a positive mental state. Maybe that's why people in Southern California are always so like kind of chill and laid back. I'm just saying. Even I have had a vitamin D deficiency, and you know why? Because I SPF up, and if I'm outside, I have a hat and glasses. So how do you get enough of it? The truth is very, very few foods have any natural vitamin D. The best source of vitamin D is the kind that your body makes in response to exposing your skin to sun. If that's something that isn't viable for you, you may wanna consider a vitamin D supplement. Of course, always, always, always talk to your own healthcare provider for your own specific needs. Okay, y'all. Those are the eight mood boosting nutrients and all the good foods to get them from. I always love hearing from you. Please be sure to comment below and until a couple days from now, I'll see y'all later. Bye.